Welcome back to the Tricks of Garage YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and replace your halogen headlight bulbs and we're going to upgrade to Oxito LED headlights. These will work for low beam and high beam apparently. So we're going to go ahead and unbox these. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install them. We're going to compare and contrast between LED bulbs and the halogen bulbs and then you know make a decision if these are worth the buy or not apparently it's plug and play so there's there's really nothing special about it um the adapter that's on the led bulb and i'll show you when i get to that point um it's just the same plug as a halogen bulb so it's really simple easy plug and play action so let's get started so the car i have is a 2007 nissan altima as most of you know pretty much is the same way for most cars you can pretty much access the headlight bulbs either from the top portion here or if you turn your wheel you can move this uh, splash shield or mud flap or whatever you want to call it and uh, it will give you access to the light bulb. Your car will probably has something similar where there's screws or some kind of push clip fasteners or something along those lines and then once you get access to your light bulbs it's pretty much unscrewing, unplugging the halogen bulb and then we're going to go ahead and plug in the uh, LED bulb. So let's keep going. Now that we got all the screws and fasteners along the bottom side of the splash shield we can go ahead and pull it out. Okay, just like so. Okay, so now that we got the splash shield out of the way, you can see the uh, low beam headlight bulb right here. All you have to do is rotate the headlight bulb in a counterclockwise direction, and then it should pop right out. So we're gonna go ahead and twist that like so, and then once you got it loose, just pull it right on out. Now to unplug it, all we have to do is there's a tab right there. See where my thumb is? You want to pull it away from the headlight bulb and then here it pops out. So this tab right here, just basically pull away from the connector. Here we have our regular halogen light bulb. I think this one was like a, a Silver Star halogen from called Sylvania. The thing about halogen bulbs is that they get extremely hot. So the good thing about an LED bulb, let me set that down, is LED bulb, they run cooler temperatures. So if you look right here on the back, you'll see it only uses 26 watts of power, which is really good compared to a, the old halogen bulbs that use a lot more power. LED bulbs are much brighter than um, halogen bulbs. They are made out of uh, aviation aluminum housing. So like you see how with the halogen, this is like plastic material right here. And there's some metal up here, but for the most part, this housing is just plastic. All the power and energy go through the filament. With LED bulbs, it's different. It uses a microchip to power the LED. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. There we go. All right, nice packaging. Okay, here we go. So it looks like some extra rubber grommets. It comes with the ones right there, but always nice to have extra. There's the product manual. Okay, and then here is the headlight bulbs. So let's go ahead and take one out. Oh, move that aside. So yeah, this compared to the halogen. Now, like I said before, this has got a metal uh, aluminum construction, which helps dissipate heat. And as you can see in there, there's a little fan. And that fan spins to help cool the chip inside while it's in operation, all right? So you can see how this is really just a plug and play. It has the little fins there, just like uh, the halogens. And you can kind of see how they line up. So this will basically go in place and snap right into the halogen headlight assembly, just as if it was a halogen bulb, except it's LED bulbs. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, line it up, plugs in, just like a normal halogen bulb. And then we're gonna Go ahead, push it in, rotate once we're locked in, and we'll just turn it clockwise until it won't turn no more. And as you can see, it's in there. 
This is the LED bulb. That is the halogen bulb. Definitely more yellow. You see on my hand here. Okay. If I go over to the LED bulb, there it is right there. Much, much more whiter, 6,500 Kelvin. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty white light. But this I think shows you good enough, the difference right there. It's much more brighter than the halogen. Right there, you can see the fan spinning away. Now that fan, again, is to cool the chip that's inside the light to prevent it from overheating. This LED can go 50,000 hours without going out. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and change this side out to LED. Then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the other LED bulb. It's in, looking good, it works. Here's the other one, still looking good. So you see it's getting a little darker now outside, but yeah, that is looking nice. Very nice, I like them. They look very good, makes, definitely makes the car look better, gives it more modern touch to it. And these should definitely help uh, at night driving. So these are a lot more brighter than the halogens ever could be. Yeah, these look nice. I really do like these. I think Oxido hit these out of the park. The good thing about LED bulbs is that they're much brighter. They cast a much wider light pattern across the road. They use lots less energy. I think probably like half the energy that a halogen bulb typically uses. They last longer, 50,000 hours. And at the end of the day, they just look a lot cooler than halogen bulbs. I mean, look at that car looks a lot better um oxido i think these definitely look good and uh we're just gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker outside and then we're gonna go for a spin Anyway, speaking of Oxido light bulbs, I have a special link down in the description below so you guys can actually hit that link. It'd be greatly appreciated. We actually offer a discount code too, and that's gonna be down in the description below as well. So go ahead, give them a visit, check them out, see what they're all about. I'm happy with them, so I think you guys will be happy with them too. As far as installing the LED bulbs, that's it. it like I said, it's pretty much the same thing as installing halogen bulbs. Um, it's plug and play they're looking good that's it for this video uh if you like what you saw go ahead hit that like button subscribe share and hit that notification bell for more trick shift garage videos we'll see you on the next one